Hey everyone, my name is Chris. And I'm Jen. And we are going places with K and J. Do us a bit favor after you watch this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. It would really, really help us a lot. Basically our story is, is we're a couple of empty nesters that uh, are just enjoying our post child in the house lives. Now don't get, don't misunderstand us. We were, don't misunderstand me. I love my children, our children, but it is so nice to have them out of the house and enjoying a uh, child free life. So um, today, uh, well, I am really bummed out at the moment because uh, if you can see behind us, uh, we are no longer <laughs> at, in our two room suite in the Delano on the Las Vegas Strip. We are in a La Quinta in Fruta, Colorado. We are on our way home, and quite honestly, I don't want to be on our way home. I tried everything I could to get Jenny to pop for another night and just drive straight through on Sunday, but um, this is probably the best way to do it. That, that So, I mean, we would have had to leave Las Vegas at like five in the morning and get home at like eight at night or something like that. So it would have been a bit of a slog, but nonetheless, Today's video, or this video, is about what we're going to review our new favorite circus, Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil show. Cirque du Soleil. Okay, listen to her, not me. <laughs> I wish you would talk more because I can't I talk little, anymore. I am interjecting when okay. you need it. <laughs> okay, well, I need it more. I did. Okay, all right. So we are reviewing our favorite Cirque du Soleil. Look at the camera. Sorry, I thought I had chocolate on oh. my thumb. I was distracted. Okay. Do you? Okay. Sir? Cheese? Yeah. No, no chocolate? Okay, anyway. All right, so. You'll tell me if I have something in my teeth, yes. right? Yes, well, we won't know <laughs> until I edit this video. So we are reviewing our new favorite. Cirque du Soleil. Show. show. Which is called. Mad Apple. Mad Apple. Okay. I'm looking at you because I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to them too. Yes. Um, talk to them, not me. Well, it's, okay. the light's bright. I know. It is very bright. We had to use artificial <laughs> light because it's uh, the sun has gone down and I still wanted to get this done tonight. I'm so, going to be seeing spots. My attitude about Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Soleil. Olay shows <laughs> as to tell now been if you've seen them one you've seen them all it's a little comedy a little acrobatic i mean they're all good they all have a different flavor to them somebody just texted you or you got some kind of notification it's but, our daughter oh it's our kid hey look one of our children is <laughs> texting us so our kids still like us so um anyway um my view has changed because this one was the acrobats and the comedians and everything else, but it, it had a slightly different flair to it in my opinion. First off, I mean, okay, let's, I'm looking at you, okay. <laughs> so. Looking at you so I don't see spots. What was the difference between this Cirque de Cirque de Cirque, Cirque de, de Soleil? Soleil. Sir, okay, <laughs> what she said. What was the difference between <laughs> Mad Apple and the other shows that are that are by Cirque du Soleil? What are, what would you say the difference would be? Um, probably the fact that it just pretty much had everything. It had a live band. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, comedy. Yes. You know, it had few comedians. Yes. Two. Um, actually, three if you count the. Yeah, that is Shadow true. Yeah, oh, did, 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 uh, teaser, <laughs> teaser, spoiler alert. So don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. She didn't say anything. We're trying to be vague so we don't ruin it for you. I didn't say to what. Okay, what that, they did. that's true. That is very true. Okay, so. Okay. So, it, okay, so three keep comedians. going. Mm -hmm. um, now you made me lose my train of thought. Three comedians, okay. including the. the uh, uh, oh, yes. a magic trick. Um, yes. If there's a couple magic in there, and then. Yep. Um, the usual acrobatic it? stuff. Yes. Okay, so. Well, what else? There was something else too, but. Oh, and just the dancing and stuff too. The There's... dancing and stuff, and I. The music. The music, and what was really cool is. It was the, all New York themed. Yeah, course. it was. It's a New York <laughs> themed show at the New York, New York on the uh, Las Vegas Strip. But um, the band is actually very interactive. They come down, they play for the audience and everything like that. My personal favorite part is how 
some shows in Las Vegas, a, um, a comedian comes out either to warm up the crowd or it's kind of like a halftime show or whatever, or a halftime break to kind of give the uh, performers a chance to regroup and take a breather. And they just kind of come out to, you know, break the ice or whatever. But in this case, the comedians were actually an integral part of the show. There was one person who played as the host, did a great job, not gonna tell you his shtick, but it was super funny. And then they had a comedian slash magician who did the, you know, typical, you know, tell me somebody, you know, tell me this and oh, look, open up this envelope and look, there it is, that kind of stuff. But it was like, how did you do that? And the third uh, comedian was actually a little person. Now, this individual, and I, we should have looked up what his name is, but he is incredibly funny. I, um, I was laughing really hard at his bit. <laughs> And um, it is a 16 and older show, yes, please, so pay yes, attention to that. Exactly. It's a little bit more mature, it is more mature, and maybe just because of the what the there was content a lot of, of the yes, comedians, the content of the comedians, and there was a lot of f bombs starting out, yeah. And so, so, just pay attention to that. There was an 11 year old in the audience, yeah, and, and, it, was, <laughs> and it was it was so funny because uh. While we were there, there were actually technical difficulties on the show twice. So they actually had to stop the performance twice. And the second time, the, the little person comedian, I, I don't, I hope, please, I, I hope that I'm saying that right. I don't want to offend anybody. But the, the comedian who is a little person came out the second time. And um, his bit was very, very good, very, very funny. But it was very, very raunchy. Now, he kind of saved the day because when the when the, the, the set glitched, the show glitched for the second time, I don't think they had a backup plan. I think no. they were just going to literally play some dumb music. But uh, he came out and he saved the day. And he was so, so funny. But it was so funny because he, he walks out literally and within the third, first three or four rows he goes, I mean, this is raunchy stuff. I mean, uh, and he looks at the audience and goes, look, a child, great. You know, and the second comedian actually came out and did the exact same thing. And there was an 11 year old and this is a 16 and over show. But uh, I really, really liked both comedians, especially the little person. He, that man was incredibly funny. Again, he's a comedian. He's a little bit off color. He's a little bit raunchy, but quite honestly, it was just funny. He makes fun of everybody, including himself. You know, he used derogatory terms about little people, but he's a little person, so he can get away with that. But, and, and the way he put it and everything was so funny. I mean, he, he was, he was great. I mean, yeah. he really, no, really he was. Really good. Good. And there was another one, uh, there was another act that I really liked who, that really made the show for me as far as other than the comedian. And again, it, it, you know what foot juggling is? Well, it's, it's a foot juggling act that I was like, wow, that was really, really cool. And so, um, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. Don't want to spoil it. But that kind of was like, that was a lot, was of, the, talent. A a lot, lot, lot of, of talent, talent. a lot of, uh, you know, the wheel of death thing, the general acrobats and stuff like that but very, very talented. So this to me has become our favorite Cirque du Soleil show. Yes. And I think we've pretty much seen them all in Las Vegas. In some, in some cases, we've seen them twice. So um, what are we missing? What should we add for this one? Um, that's all I can think of really, but I think that it was just, like I said, I think that's why it was our favorite because it's just so much talent. I mean, all of the Cirque du Soleil has a ton of talent. Yes, we recommend seeing them all. I mean, I mean see them probably all. probably O is my next favorite, mm -hmm. just because, you know, the water and yeah. everything like that. I mean, that is really, really cool as well. Really, really good story so on that one, So it's way up there, but um, those are our two favorite, for sure. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. um, no, it was good, but just at a, at a different level. Because of the, like I said, the live band, the talent, yeah. the everything yeah. that was there. Definitely, for sure. So it was good. So I guess, and, and the long and the short of it is, is we highly recommend if you are at the New York, New York, or, or you want to see one of the Cirque du Soleil. shows, <laughs> we highly recommend going to see Matt Apple at the New York, New York uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. Great show. Again, 16 or over, please. Otherwise, you might have to explain some things you're not ready to explain to your 11 year old about but anyway so um again i don't want to make this too long so i guess this is going to be four thumbs up or just two anyway four thumbs up i guess so <laughs> so for now again 
I'm Chris. I'm Jen. And we are Going Places with K&J. Again, please like, view, and subscribe. I think I'm supposed to say just, or you already viewed or you are viewing, then so subscribe and like, like. and help us out. Uh, become, please subscribe to our channel. We're really trying to make this uh, a really cool thing. Our goal really is, yes, I want to be a professional YouTuber, but on the other side of that, we really want to encourage other couples to go out and just enjoy themselves, travel, have a good time, what it is, because our own personal saying is, is that every night is date, date night. night. Yay. <laughs> so, and that's what we're really trying to do and have fun along the way. So for now, we, um, again, I'm Chris. I'm Jen. And we're going to make another video real quick, okay? So bye. Bye.